Hey guys, my name is Sergeant Cookies, and welcome back to another Fortnite news update video. And uh, before you guys say anything, yes, that means I am back uh, for the beginning of uh, season 11 or whatever the next season is going to be called. I am going to uh, be doing these again. Uh, I apologize for being absent for the entirety of season X. I said I was going to uh, be making a return to these, and. Uh, uh, I think things that are on the way, such as school and uh, uh, other things. But uh, yeah, don't worry. I am back, and actually, I am back this time. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and get into our first Fortnite topic. Okay, so the first Fortnite topic we have to talk about is the upcoming overtime challenges for Season X, and. Uh, yeah, you heard me right. Season X will have overtime challenges, and uh, here is what the uh, screen for them will look like. Um, they will be uh, coming with, uh, I assume, the 10.40 um, update, and uh, there, as you can see, there are three familiar skins on there, and uh, as the pre previous uh, uh, overtime challenges, uh, they come with uh, select styles and such for if you complete the challenges but uh yeah so let's get uh, let's get a closer more uh high definition version of these on the screen uh we have the uh a selectable style red and gold looking variant for the space and voyager and uh, this looks great honestly i can't wait then we have the uh, i think the reverse disco uh i think that's what it's called style for the uh sparkle sparkle specialist and then we have the uh, thing is called the solid gold variant for the DJ Yonder skin, and uh, that one. Eh, they, I feel like they could have made it. Uh, I feel like uh, I got it. They reversed the color palette, but eh, the silver part puts me off. Then we have the red. Then we have another a red variant for the uh, Space Voyager skin. Uh, I'm excited for this variant because I know it will go good with the iconic skin that I own. Uh, and I guess there's another blue variant for it, and uh, yeah, these all look great, and I cannot wait for these overtime challenges to come out, and uh, yeah, I'm excited. So yeah, the next Fortnite topic we have to talk about is a Rift Beacon appearing near Junk Junction, and uh, yeah, it is uh, at the spot uh, where the little racetrack is actually, but the f uh, the community is assuming that it will be the soccer field, but in my opinion, I feel like it will be the uh, little castle area that was there that was removed, uh, I believe, after uh, after season three. There were uh, little castle-looking houses, uh, like a rundown castle, and uh, the castle areas, and. Uh, I believe that that's what's going to replace this area but the thing is who knows it's it, honestly that would be a really small rift zone so it would be make more sense for the soccer stadium to be there but uh yeah uh i let me know if you're excited for the soccer stadium or the castles or let me know what you guys think what will replace the little racetrack and uh yeah let's go ahead and move on to their next fortnite topic so the next Fortnite topic we have to talk about is the new Xbox One S uh, and how it will be affiliated with a new exclusive Fortnite uh, uh, set. So we have the Rogue Spider Knight skin coming out for the Xbox One S all digital console, and it will be feature. It will be coming with the Rogue Spider Shield, 2,000 V Bucks, and Rogue Spider Knights challenges. And uh, honestly, it's it's a white, it's a silver and green variant of the Spider Knight. So in my opinion, it's a bit lazy, but that seems that that's that's all that uh, exclusives are these days with Fortnite. I wish they would put a little bit more effort to their exclusive, similar to the iconic skin. But you know, that's what it's it's okay. I guess uh, I guess that's what Fortnite wants to do. But uh, yeah, that's pretty that's pretty nice that they are having another exclusive uh, skin, you know. But I'm sure that people will buy them off websites and uh, you know break the terms of service and everything. But uh, it's all right. Uh, 
they do what they want to do and uh yeah uh, let's move on to the next fortnite topic all right so the next fortnite topic is we have a couple of leaked loading screens now there is one the first one that i'm about to show you and it looks to seem like there's two new leak skins and uh, in front of a building which has a sign behind their the watermark for the leakers but um there is a sign on the thing and it says welcome to the combine now this is very odd and it looks like to be like a post-apocalyptic like, type of scene and uh, it's very very uh very 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 odd for the in, in fortnite and then there is a the next the loading screen which will be featured in a couple of weeks which seems to be the last loading screen and it's uh it's in this, on the, the description for this says the last stop and i think it the i think the name for this is uh i think the name is for the and i think the name for this loading screen is the last stop and uh the uh what's it called the uh description for it it says goodbye bus driver so that is uh very uh emotional actually because people are saying that are like are we gonna have to say goodbye to this map and you know um does this confirm a new map well honestly no one can tell until season 11 or the next season because <sighs> nobody knows and uh, it's very uh i guess emotional because we've, we've got used to all of these uh all of these uh locations and pois from the, this every single uh season to come and i guess we're gonna have to say goodbye uh and that would be very very uh, sad honestly but you know a lot of people are have been wanting a new map for ages now so um yeah uh let's hope that let's hope that everybody gets what they want <laughs> but um yeah let's go ahead and move on to the next fortnite topic if we have any but yeah guys i ran out of topics to talk about i know kind of a short video today but you know I enjoyed making this. It has been a very, very long time since I've done one of these. Especially, literally, it's been over, over freaking what, like seven weeks, over eight weeks now since I've done this. But uh, yeah, but uh, I guess this is time where I say goodbye and I wrap up the video. So uh, yeah, guys, hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, I'm gonna try to do these now. I, f I want to say a couple. I want to say once or twice a week because you know. Uh, with the new uh, with season 11 coming along that means a lot of leaks and a lot of a lot of you know storyline and a lot of a lot of everything for fortnite and uh, i've been enjoying this game for a very long time and i feel like i've just been doing item shop for a very long time now and uh, you know those are getting kind of bland and uh, i've been told to get repetitive and that i should branch out and do some other things on the channel and you know i guess might as well return to doing fortnite news videos since they were fun back in season six through season eight and yeah guys that is going to be it for today's video hope you guys did enjoy leave a like if you do like me um if you do want me to continue doing these and uh i always enjoy the support and uh yeah guys we recently hit 500 subscribers, so thank you for that. And if you enjoy everything I do on the channel, please consider using code SGT-Cookies in the Fortnite item shop. And yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.